My intention in making this video is so that whoever watches it can say to themselves, if she did it, so can I. Let's go. Hi folks, welcome back. This is a long one, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this ride with me, and you'll walk away with some manifesting tips that are sure to help you on your path. And remember, you are the path. Let's go. So I had made a promise to the divine that if I manifested the car of my dreams, I would share with the world just how real alchemical law, just how real divine law is. So I'm here to do that and share with you how I manifested the car of my dreams. It started with me wanting to sell the car that I owned. So about two years ago, before the pandemic, I had cleaned my car in and out, gave it a complete detail, myself actually, even cleaned out the engine. And it looked really beautiful. And I had all these photos that I took photos, you know, of the car to uh, sell the car myself, maybe on Craigslist or Marketplace or wherever I chose to. And something told me, don't sell your car yet. And I said, okay. So I listened, my intuition, right? That voice speaks, I listen. So even though I really wanted to sell my car, I held off. I listened to that intuitive voice and I did not make a move. Well, the pandemic came around and I was grateful to still have my car because I realized that I wanted to purchase an SUV, an all-wheel drive SUV, but that would be a time lapse in between the time that I sold the car that I owned myself, the title was in my name, and I realized that there would be a time lapse and I had no idea how long that time lapse would be. So when the pandemic came around, I was actually really happy to not have sold my car. So. So I didn't have to go hunting and I didn't have to be stuck for a long period of time because of, you know, all of the insanity that went on during the pandemic. So when everyone was uh, given permission to leave house arrest, because that's what it was, when everyone was given permission to leave house arrest, we had come out to a world that had completely changed. What I realize is a reset. Okay, there's been several resets over time here on this earth plane. Anywho, this is about manifestation. So when house arrest was over, uh, everyone came out and we found that the world was completely changed. New businesses had cropped up, old businesses had, businesses had shut down, and the prices of everything tripled, if not tripled, quadrupled. We're talking real estate, we're talking automobiles, we're talking food items, we're talking clothing, everything. Which was very interesting because no cost of living had been given out to the people of America, the humans of America, and yet everything had tripled in price or quadrupled. So now I still had that, you know, I was grateful to have my car and not have sold it earlier. And now I looked around and I said, oh my goodness. So now the car that I would have purchased before when I sold my car outright, got the cash, would have cost, say, maybe 6000 for a used vehicle. I, I was n not looking for a new car. I had taken that route before. I had taken the financing a car before. And I like used cars because they're broken in and the glitches are pretty much taken care of. Gently broken in is what I prefer. So uh, <laughs> I looked around and I could not believe that the car that I could have gotten a few years earlier was say $6,000 and now <laughs> for the same car they were asking 13000 
So I was, I was beyond dumbfounded. And I said to myself, there's no way that's happening. So there's no way that I'm doing that. So at the time that I was going to sell my car, you know, a couple of years earlier, I had let my circle know, but I never did. Like I said earlier. So someone approached me out of the blue. Are you still selling your car? And I said, yes, I am. And they said, well, I'll buy it. And just like that. And I said, okay. I took them for a test drive, beautiful car and um, running beautifully. I could have kept it actually. It's not what I needed at the time. I needed an all wheel drive SUV. So I took them for a test drive. They loved it. They gave me cash for it. Now, what I did was I sold them the car for $2,000 less than what the car was valued at. So I said to myself when I did that, I really enjoy paying it forward. So I said to myself, I am so unconcerned about that. It's going to come back to me in a beautiful way. And I knew this, it, it will come back to me. I, and I even said that out loud. They said to me, this is too low. And I said, no, I said, It'll come back to me. This is perfect. This is a win-win. We're both happy. So now I knew I had no car. I sat down and wrote out, literally wrote out what I wanted in an automobile. What I know from past experience, I've manifested many things. This is the first time that I manifested something with literally, literally using the power of my consciousness of the Christ mind, pure mind, pure innocence. 